What's going on guys? My name is James Collector. If you're finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. This video is me going to a car boot sale. A, to find stuff to buy low and sell high, to buy stuff like this. If I can find stuff like this, it's a winner winner chicken dinner. Although it's not been for a very, very long time we found anything like this at a car boot sale. So, let's go. So first up, pretty standard on a Sunday morning, is to try and get some cash out because I'm not prepared enough to do it the day before. And it'd be far easier if I just did. Um, only taking 250 out. Is it gonna let me or not? I use the right card, so that's always a start. I look rough as hell. <laughs> I look rough as hell most Sunday mornings. Those of you who see me on a Sunday morning on a regular basis will bloody well know. But um, I'm gonna get myself a coffee because uh, I'm tired as frick. Great success. So it's pretty much dead on 6 a.m. As you can see, it's very, very dark. Uh, so it's gonna be torchlight for the next, what, 15, 20 minutes or so. You see the sky is starting to brighten up um, as normal. It's freaking saturating, not that you can see anything. Um, but yeah, it's quite fresh. I've had my coffee. I'm buzzing a little bit, so uh, fingers crossed, I can find some goodies. There's some of them. Tarzan pork. How much is the label writer? Um, two pounds. Yeah, go on in. Should be able to. Morning. I've got absolutely no idea why, but the sound appears to be corrupted on this file. Nothing really too exciting happened. Uh, Mo managed to get a whole stack of PS1 games for around a tenner. One of those games was a classic edition of one of the Road Rash games, which is worth around £10 on its own. So nothing too special, but enjoy the music. Yeah, I know, we did all right on those back in the day. 
How much are your paperweights, please? They're Caithness, sort of five to ten, a little one. They're all signed, or I'll do a deal on the lot. I don't know if that one is. Yeah, it is. How much did you want for the lot? How many are there? There are three large ones and three smaller ones. Um, that one's pretty. 45. Let's see if there's any damage on any of them. That's nice. Yeah. Looks like a, like a sea urchin, doesn't it? Yeah. They've got names if you look them up on the site. Yeah. They were a lot of money when I bought them. Like a lot of things. We should do 40. I'll give you the exact money as well. That's one, two, three, four, and two the little ones for nothing. 20 I've got on that. Okay, I'll do 40. I presume you, you, you want your wicker basket. Sorry? I presume you want your wicker basket. You can have it if you want, actually. No, it's okay. I'll... What you... should I do with them? Put them in... No, I'll get it in my bag. It's not a problem. How much are the DS games, please? A uh, couple of pounds each. Would you do a quid for Peppa Pig? Uh, yes, I will. Some change. No. Okay. Pound. Oops. Have we got any more stuff like that at all? Any more gaming stuff? No, it's all, all gone over the years. Heart of Disney. Yeah. So some of them are. How much are they each? Uh, well, it's in a whole game. Oh, okay. So they're not really You're not anymore. separating them? Uh, 50p. That's going to be on the phone. Have you got any bits of jewellery? No, I haven't, sorry. Lovely, thank you. Number 8, 19, 3, 22, 8, 30. Are they room record? They're real, aren't they? They're the real stuff. Yeah. Yes, we've got 8. What, how much are you doing then? 46. 15. Yeah. 55 is all that. Okay. I haven't got any bags, Darren. 8. Oh, no, sorry, they're not the six quid. No, I haven't got any bags. So 20p. Yeah, 20p. Thank you. Uh, which one's that one? Samsung Galaxy. Uh, 17. Yes, you can have that for right. six pounds. Six for that. Thank you. How much did you want for the Skylanders? That's it, Skylanders. I couldn't think what they were. <laughs> I was asking myself, bloody hell, I can't think. Uh, Fiverr. Is that for all of them? Yes, all of them. Would yeah. you throw in the, the game with it as well that's down here? Yes, yeah, the game as well. Excellent, yeah, I'll yeah. do that for a fiver. Okay. Have you got change for a ten? Um, yeah, I've got six pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, yeah that's what, what, uh, Fiverr, please. £10 brand new, it is expensive, you look online, Google it, about £30, it's never ever been used. Then we've got a pound, there's four, and that's a ten, lovely, thank you. So DS stuff can earn me brownie points, so... <laughs> You can have a look if that's right. How much are they each? I'm not even sure they're in here. Oh, okay. Uh, that's 20 quid. Um, it comes yeah. with a charger and the box. What's in there? That's got the right game in it. Right. So it and that's, uh, that hasn't got anything in it. Oh, okay. What, what sort of game is that? That's Toy Story 3. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I've got the case for that. And that one, if you want to see it. Uh, I'll go for the box ones to be honest. How <laughs> yeah, we've been around loads, give it up. Okay. 
Not without the manuals. Can you tell me sort this bike? What is that? Is that a control to it? I think I've got one of those already. Do you want to go back to your car quickly? Okay, so Sunday haul time, and I'll be honest, he got a bit busy. Uh, it was very, very busy at stages. So I left, God, about nine o'clock, which is quite late for me. And I may have overspent on a few items, um, but I didn't buy anything for a while. And, oh, you're a bit wonky there. Let me just try and uh, straighten you up a little bit. What one do I need to do? Is that slightly better? So I didn't buy anything for ages. And then the first thing that I did buy for two pounds was this Brother P Touch uh, H10. I lost it already. <laughs> uh, H101TB. Now there's a bit of damage and like something had been spilt down the side. In, in this condition, it's worth about 15 pounds or so. So it should be a case of hopefully getting the batteries out, giving it a quick clean up with some white vinegar and then getting that out of the door. So that was two pound into potentially 15 pounds plus shipping. This was an absolute fail. Last time I think I picked up a Peppa Pe Pe Pig game or at least looked at it, it was going for like eight pounds. Uh, now it's about four pound 50 all in. I paid a pound, I think. Yeah, won't be buying that again. I bought a lot of paperweights, which um, I, I mean, they're all Caithness ones um, or Caithness, whatever it is. And the prices are all over the place. So I paid £40 for the lot and I may have completely overstretched. And But then again, you sort of live and learn. Now, this is my favourite and it is potentially the most expensive one. So this is, uh, oh, well, I can't find it now. It's not bloody showing it. Petunias, 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 that makes sense. So petunias, this is quite purple in colour. The most common one seems to be blue. Someone is selling one very, very similar. Yeah, very, very similar to this uh, over in the States. Sorry, over in Australia for 132 US. Sorry, Australian, which is 70 quid uh, over here. Then there is this one, which is Moon Crystal. Should be around £7.50 plus postage. Then we have... No, this one I couldn't find. But this is parallel lines. Should be hopefully around 15, 20 pounds or so. Then this one is blush, pink and purple. Uh, it should be around 20 pounds if it had the cert, but it shouldn't be a problem. Then this one is pastel. It's around four pound 50 to, uh, to eight pounds. And then this one is moonflower. Uh, one sold for 23.99 best offer. Uh, a couple of days ago, two days ago, exactly. So you should be looking at maybe around £20 for that one. But I know that it's a good brand, so I thought, well, I might as well pick it up just on the off chance that there's some money to be made. So if if this one is worth 70 quid, and this one is worth 20, we're looking at around about making £90 or so. Um, but it, there's a lot of ifs and buts, so don't take my word as gospel. Uh, what else did we get? So the Peppa Pig game we've done, that was £4.48. Uh, Skylanders, so there's a whole bundle, should only do the lot together. So I end up getting a Portal, an Xbox 360 game, and a load of just real rubbish ones. I probably end up getting maybe £10. I paid five for the lot. This guy is going for £20 all in, and that is a Grave Clubber from the Villain series Sensei. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it should be fairly straightforward and easy listing. And then 
there was something else, which is what I'm quite excited about. So I paid £100 for the pair. We've got some Pokemon coins. I think at the moment they were both about £15 or so. So we've got Seal, Gyarados and Hitmonchan. Let's go straight into the personal collection. And then the best part is we have a Groudon SP. And inside the Groudon SP case is, you guessed it, a Groudon SP. Now, the person I bought this off, um, I, I, I've, we've had this for quite a while. So we're fairly certain it's going to be the original case. But it's incredibly hard to get hold of. And it's going on the shelf of other SPs until I can hopefully one day get a boxed version. So £100 for the pair, to the SP is worth well over 100 on its own. So that was an absolutely amazing one. So thank you, Mo, much appreciated. Uh, I've done some listing today. Uh, it's been it's been an interesting one. So but we'll leave all that for the week in life of next week. But yeah, all in all, good day. I hope it just depends on these stupid bits of glass that you put on paper. But that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Au revoir.